Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Windows 11 July 2023 update, which is the update that finally introduces the Moment 3 features for all users. So they are no longer optional and everyone should get them once they are updating to the build 22,621.1992. So as I've said in previous videos, Microsoft did a gradual rollout with the Moment 3 update and features. And finally, in this update, everyone should get the, all the new features by default without having to enable any sliders or to use any commands the moment 3 update features should be enabled by default of course in this video i'm not going to go in depth with all the moment 3 update features but we're going to mention them briefly so that if anyone that doesn't know anything about them watches will know what to expect when they are updating to the latest build for the main release so if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future updates uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by HitPaw Video Enhancer. HitPaw is specialized in AI and its mission is to provide effective tools for everyone. HitPaw Video Enhancer is a high quality AI video enhancer which allows you to upscale, enhance, colorize videos and more. You can use one of the four AI models to enhance your videos. General Denoise model is perfect for most videos and selecting between quality and fast will determine the processing time. Animation model can help you improve an animated video or an old cartoon by also enhancing the color if needed. Face model is good for video portraits along with the color enhancement if selected. The last AI model, Colorize, will allow you to colorize old black and white videos. After you select your AI model, select the resolution, bitrate, format, the location where you want the video to be saved, and then finally click on the export button. If you want to get the biggest discounts for HitPaw Video Enhancer, make sure to check out their event from the description. Check out HitPaw Video Enhancer from the links in the description description below today. Let's continue with the video. So first of all, as for the Moment 3 update, we're getting improvements for the live captions and voice access apps. Regarding live captions, this update adds support for more languages such as German, Italian, Japanese, Spanish, Danish, and so on. And regarding the voice access app, this update redesigns the in-app voice access command help page. And also support for additional English dialects such as United Kingdom, India, and so on. Microsoft is also adding a new VPN network icon in the system tray when you are connected to a recognized VPN. So regardless of the connection you're using, if you're using Ethernet or Wi-Fi, you will get a small shield icon inside your network icon that will tell you that you are connected to a recognized VPN. I think that is good. It's better to know when you are connected or disconnected from that certain VPN if you have a limited data plan or something like that. Also, we now have the clock with seconds in the system tray. If you see here, we have also the seconds in the clock. And if you click on the test, and then click on taskbar settings, you should notice that on taskbar behaviors and at the bottom, you'll see this new option show seconds in system tray clock, which will use more power. If you deselect it, the seconds will be turned off and you can select it or turn it on to see the seconds. Now, whenever you're getting a notification that has a two-factor authentication code, you will automatically get a copy button that will allow you to quickly copy that two-factor authentication code. And I think that is pretty useful. You won't have to type it in anymore will just be able to copy it and paste it into the app that you need it into. Of course, we also have improvements for the file explorer and regarding the file explorer, we get access key shortcuts for the file explorer context menu, which will basically allow you to use shortcuts to quickly select different sections of the context menu. I think that is pretty cool. Of course, if you want to learn more info and to see a more in-depth presentation of all these features, you can always check out the article below in the video's description. And of course, previous videos that I've made about the Moment 3 update. We're also getting the multi-app kiosk mode. And another interesting new addition is the live kernel memory dump in Task Manager. So if you're going into the details pane or category in the Task Manager, search here for system and right click on system, you'll get this new option, create live kernel memory dump file, full live kernel memory dump, kernel stacks memory dump, and change memory dump settings. And you will be automatically redirected to the settings section where you can change a few settings. This is good for developers. So if you're a developer, these new options in the task manager should be useful for you. We're also getting new settings for showing the touch keyboard when there's no keyboard attached. So inside time and language typing, show the touch keyboard, you get a 
a drop down with three options, never when no keyboard attached and always. Also, if you were system supports it, you should get the content adaptive brightness control settings, which will basically allow you to adapt your screen brightness to the content that you are currently watching. And we're also getting the new USB for hubs and devices settings page. Yet again, if your system supports it. Presence sensing settings is also a new thing inside the Moment 3 update, which will basically allow certain apps, if your system supports it, to see and check if you are currently using the computer. Inside the settings app, the performance of the search section is also improved. And also the print screen key behavior has changed. Basically, you can use the print screen key to open snipping tool. If you turn it on, you'll be able to open the snipping tool automatically. And also we're getting a new limit of 20 most recent tabs when you show tabs from apps when snapping or pressing all plus tab. And finally, we're also getting improved cloud suggestion and integrated search suggestion. And of course, this being the B release for the month of July, we're also getting security improvements. But as I've said, more in-depth info in the article below in the video description, where you're also going to get a quick link to the official Microsoft blog and so on. And there you can see a more in-depth look over this new update. If anyone is wondering, how you can get this update just open up the settings app go into windows update and then check for updates and you should get this new update with all the moment 3 update features enabled by default and alongside with the windows 11 service and stack update which is the build 22061.1989 which ensures that you have a robust and reliable service and stack so that your devices can receive and install microsoft updates so this was the video for today i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Manny from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.